Hello friends, this is Odds, and this video is aimed at helping beginner to intermediate killers who feel like they are struggling. Many times when I read comments and forums anywhere related to DVD, I see the same sentiment from many people that feel like playing killer is stressful, irritating, and with matchmaking being the way it is, many times they feel like they go against people with 10 times their hour count and it feels hopeless. And it really shouldn't feel this way. I've wanted to help people like this by asking my viewers to submit their own game so that I can judge them and give them a bit of advice. I will be making some videos with my biggest conclusions and biggest pieces of advice for players of this level. But until then, one thing that might be holding you back is your choice of killer. And I want to give you a path to follow so that if you're still learning or have learned a little bit and you want to rectify that, you're making some terrible mistakes and you don't know where exactly you're making them, so you have something very, very solid to fall back on. One of the things that I've noticed with some of the footage that I've watched is that people play killers that are not suited for them. They play extremely mechanically complex killers, such as Nemesis, that are really difficult to play mechanically well, especially on console and on controller. They also play killers that are very unique, that require very specific perks that they don't really have at the beginning. You cannot make a nice basic build with these killers. They require very specific teachables that are hard to get. Uh, or they play with killers that are a little bit too weak. And unless you play these killers to a very high level, they have a hard time keeping up with stronger teams. So instead of going for killers like this, or killers that have all of these problems at once, I'm going to recommend to you a few killers right now that are relatively easy to get, that with very few perks can actually kick ass. And this is my recommended list of killers. These are killers that strike a good balance of being relatively easy um, to play, especially if you play them a certain way, as I'll tell you, but that also do really, really well with the basic perks that they unlock right away or almost right away. I will play these builds on this video, and I'll also give you a bit of advice on each before we start, so that you have an idea of what to do with each and what perks you need to unlock and so on. If you play one of these builds, I think that even with very little stuff unlocked, you will get more consistent results and they are a good stepping stone to learn the game and eventually move on to other killers and playstyles until you find the one that really suits you. Let me know what you think and please enjoy, of course, timestamps in the descriptions so that you can skip to whichever one picks your interest. I'll see ya. Bye-bye. All right, starting with the simplest one, we have this incredibly easy to unlock and very accessible build that works wonders for both Wraith, a free killer, and Ghostface, a very popular pick for beginners. This is an amazing build that you can unlock within just hours. It only has one teachable from the nurse that you need to unlock. It's called Nurse's Calling, but even this one is not a requirement by any means. You could also replace this by Spice from the Shadows or even better, Bitter Murmur. Other than that, it's all basic perks. We have Fearmonger. This will exhaust and blind survivors at gens so that they're easier to ambush. Jolt to regress gens when you down people with your attacks on both of these killers. And Sloppy Butcher, which will make healing a little bit harder. Also, interrupting healing will make it very punishing for survivors. And guess what? You're going to be doing that a lot because you have Nurse's Calling paired with a stealth healer. Really simple build that works surprisingly well even at the higher levels. As for add-ons, if you don't really know what to do on Ghostface, these two add-ons are an excellent pick. You have the Philly, which will make your stalking relatively faster, and the Wallace Matchbook, two brown add-ons that are incredible. This one makes your power come back sooner. You cannot go wrong with any of this. As for Wraith, his add-ons are a little bit more complex, but if you don't know what to go for, one speed add-on, Windstorm, and one reappearance add-on, Swift Hunt, you can never go wrong with this combo. So. Anything at all will work, just make sure you don't have the one add-on that also applies Mangle because it doesn't stack, that is a little bit overkill. Uh, maybe replace that with something else. Other than that, you cannot go wrong with this build, and I'm going to show you just how well it can do. Alright chat, we just played in this map, and it didn't go super well for the two hours. Uh, we were trying Spice from the Shadow System, we have the simpler uh, Fearmonger, lovely. Remember, you can stalk up to 40 meters. We... Oh, where? Oh, I see. That's lovely, dude. Absolutely lovely. Do I want to go for her? No. Let it be. We can stop that gem, bud. Oh, shit. Dude. I mean, a bit premature, but... Sure, let's do it. Does she have spin burst and she's outwaiting it? Sure is. Damn, dude. One second. Not too bad, though. This is far from extremely safe. 
Yeah, if I had been a bit braver, chat, if I had been a bit braver. Let's hope I didn't mess up tremendously there. I messed up tremendously there, chat. I think I need to leave this girl. I'm gonna see... I have a chance, but... Yeah, okay. Oh! One and two. Lovely. I hook her and I go straight for that kid. Did I mess up terribly? A bit. Do you have a Sabo? You don't. Do you have Saboteur? I hope not. You son of a gun, dude. Sure does. Okay, there's one way we can avert this crisis. Drop her like this. You see that little sound? I mean, she took a little while to hit the floor. Oh, they have the good window. Ooh. Well, it wasn't ideal, and Kate will finish her gen, but... Now we know the critical information. And Kate probably has no idea that she's smart. This is sloppy, chat. Go straight for it. There you go. That loses progress. He can't heal it up quickly. Where? 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 You should not be taking me here, my god. Oh, never mind. They have a toolbox. They finish it anyway. Chat, I think that if I stall here, I can win the game. If I can just lull Kate into thinking that she's the only one that's capable here of doing anything. Come on, Kate. Show up somewhere. Come on, Kate. Hi. Did she make a huge mistake? She did. Maybe balance on Kate? Let's keep that in mind. She tried to drop. Hi, lady. Spring burst. Okay. Uh, we try to defend that one gen at least. Damn. I'll play by them, though. Uh, hi, lady. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Honestly, dude, Saboteur is such a nice perk, dude. It's such a nice perk. I will not break that breakable wall. I think I keep it so that it's even more claustrophobic. Oh man. Uh, staying injured, I guess, has its perks. And it's risks, too, though. You certainly don't have that heart, so let's do this fast. There's a problem, though. <laughs> Do I even have him? Alright, if I'm fast enough, I don't need to mark anyone. Whoever comes out of that basement will be injured. Let's do it. We use my power. Could be revealed. There you go. Here's what we're gonna do, chat. We're gonna stalk them. You might be like, why? Good enough. That girl's still trapped. Uh, the reason why we stalk them is so that that girl has an easier time being stalked. I didn't do it. Uh, the, the stalk goes away because I hit her, but now it's deep room, so... Uh, you know, do that and then heal with Sloppy. What about... <laughs> Hi, Auntie. Hello, you guys. Oh, that's a bit of a uh, facade encounter. Oh, that was terrible. Damn, dude. They literally have a sniper's nest. Oh, fair enough. You can heal and come then. Uh, that's the whole team I counted for, though. If you think about it, I think I've I've just seen them all. Damn, tough loop. Bye bye. He has a medkit. Let him use it, I guess. Absolutely terrible, dude. Absolutely terrible. I think I've hooked all of them, haven't I? What a garbage start of the game. For three. Yeah, and now we're gonna have the oh you tunneled strategy. Yeah, go for it. Nasty dude. Nasty. Well played. But if anyone tells you that off the record, it's useless man, look at that. Hey fellas. What's up, handsomes? That wasn't a hit? Are you kidding me? Whoa. Okay. Return to break. You... Damn, these guys are not panicking. Well, they can both take this, can they? Are you kidding me, dude? You really have decisive that hard? What? You're... Last thing I expected to see ever. Bruh. 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 Okay, well, let her be on the ground for a bit then. Did we ever break that? No, we didn't. Alright. Now I can maybe go and eat it. We're at one gen with all this commotion. That girl pissed off. Does she mean you have Unbreakable? Are you guys in, co in cahoots? 
Man, if that other guy is unbreakable, he's out of the 99 by the time I pick him up. He gets, he's gonna get picked up by himself or someone else. Bro, fast, fast, fast. Fast, fast, fast. Uh, do you know that on hook though? Is something going for us? Shame. Wait, why did they stop? You've not been recovering. Oh, uh, maybe they think they can use a flashy? Uh huh. Well, the sad part about Hook and Jill is that she had off the record, and she still has it, and she had the side six possibly, and she still has it. We didn't really take that away from her, so. Yeah, no, this time I beat it. Pretend. Oh, break it, dude. She's, she's pretty cornered. I'm looking at a very, very ugly adrenaline play. If this guy's really want to do this. Nasty. What play, dude? I don't pick her up. I can't hook her fast. I do this and I go for Jill and I try to hold her somehow. And also, maybe I need to control Jens a bit. Jens are all on me! If they're not doing main, they're in trouble. Of course they are. Oh, well, Chad, that, that's a happy little accident. The only problem is that this girl will try to take me to Shag and all these awful little places that we haven't really been to. Good job, dude. I would say Fearmonger's been helping, but... Ball bag. Yes, let's go. Up a little accident. I know, I know, I know. Are you in the who by any chance? Someone is. Other than Jill, right? Lovely. Okay. Memory wasn't that terrible, Chad. We now just look for Jill with nurses and we bring this back. Alternatively, they could be sitting on that. I know this pilot's a bit of a nuisance, but I, I like interrupting a 99 heal with sloppy is far more important than anything right now. Like if they get that heal off, that's more important than than any pallet in the game right now. How it's ghosting? Pretty good. Uh, we, as I mentioned, we played a game that was a little bit yikes. This, these people are unhookable, chat. There's two entire hooks in this entire vicinity. I'll just do it. Right. Uh, I'm pretty sure they sabot with long, long sabo lengths. An unbreakable, if it was there, has already been used. Can I do this so I can get revealed by her? In the off chance that I don't know where she is. Maybe I should have picked up immediately and gone for that one. Oh, that's good. She hasn't gone that far. I thought she was out of the other corner. We got this. Plus, she's the one that on hook, right? 100%. It's a bit of a stretch and she could have flip love, whatever the heck, but... Yeah, let's hope she doesn't. Even if they do, their last gen is sticking a little bit. She did have off the record, maybe Unbreakable, maybe the size so she can't have everything, right? How long does it last? Uh, Breakdown is a very insane perk shot. It, it, it destroys a hook for three whole minutes. And in DVD time, three minutes might as well be forever in some cases. It also, you know, it also... Um, shows you the auto of the killer when you get unhooked, doesn't it? I think it has some other effect. So yeah, the, the point is, the, the main reason why this is a strong thing is because if you have a Scorch Hook... Well, guess what? You know? That Scorch Hook cannot be recycled. I think he goes for the window. Like, it's a no-brainer, right? No, it's really not. Okay. Yeah... I think I need to leave him, Chad. This is... I mean, I can break it and then... Hope for no adren, but I think Kate's here, so... I like it. Should have been a grab. Chad, you cannot grab Subarvers if they're doing a fast vault, even if they're injured. You know what I mean, right? But yeah, no, it shouldn't have been a grab. It couldn't have been. All right, Mark. Hold on, dude. Honestly. Great fight by, th by these guys, don't you guys think? And it's really nice to see people run Saboteur, man. I don't mind getting my ass kicked by slightly off meta perks, man. It's really nice, actually. It's actually quite refreshing. Okay, so following it up, we have this Legion build, which is perhaps the weakest of all of the ones featured in this video, but it's also by far the simplest and the most customizable. So this might be actually ideal for someone that's really, really new. We have the perk Discordance, their own perk, to find multiple people on gens and attack them all with our Feral Frenzy, getting value out of our power. Jolt, every time we down an injured survivor, the gens around us will regress. And then two more perks from different killers to control gens, and to help us in chase. And the nice part about this is that you have multiple options. I will recommend the one for Hailbilly, but if you have the teachables from Ghostface, Thrill and Tremors and Amaliers are 
excellent tools. And if you unlock the clown and have his teachables, Pop Goes the Weasel and Bamboozle are pretty comfortable picks. Uh, the most accessible and perhaps best, though, are the hillbilly ones. Tinkerer and Enduring. With Enduring, we will lose all fear of pallets, which will help us get used to playing Lishan. And with Tinkerer, okay, we will lose our turret radius, which does mean that we can use our power for detection. But we're going to try to use Tinkerer to catch people injured working on gens, maybe get a grab every now and then. So we use Tinkerer in between power activations. And believe it or not, the combination of Discordus and Tinkerer does give us a lot of information to work with. As for add-ons, you don't need to complicate yourself. Legion has some excellent brown add-ons. The Mischief list should be an automatic equip. Super simple add-on unless you use your power for longer. If, you're, if you seem like you're not going to make it and hit someone, don't be afraid to cancel your power. If you cancel your power often with Scratch Ruler, uh, you have uh, an even faster recovery if you find yourself misusing your power or getting stunned a lot. But since we're going to use the, the, the anti-stun perk Enduring, in this occasion, we could also go for Julie's Mixtape, which will give our power back if we get stunned so that we have literally no way of screwing it up. It is very, very, very simple. Let me show you what that can look like. All right, we got the Green Pantry. Uh, far from an ideal Legion map, the way this map works, you will rarely have survivors grouped up at any one point. Uh, main building is also very awkward to navigate with your power, but at least from my experience, I do think that people spawn together relatively often on this side, so... Yeah, it seems like that's not a crazy idea. I'm gonna start to use my power, because it's such an open map, and I don't think yes. Yeah, oh my, oh my god, we were on the money. At least three people, huh? Uh, uh, well, now you know what endurance enduring can do for you enduring uh makes you recover twice as fast from a pallet stun this obviously pulls you away from your power but if you've already hit the survivor and they try to do a little something like this one did uh trying to prevent me from using my power from hitting someone else guess what i might have not even hit that third guy but now i have this fellow down immediately and it's a really, really nice thing that even at higher levels still happens to others clumsily playing around pallets. So thank you, Jake, for the excellent demonstration and no tinkerer. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, we, we move on to the next one. Okay, moving on. Uh, much nicer map i suppose yeah father campbell Campbell, uh, father campbell chapel is actually pretty good for survivors but it is a tighter map so maybe we get to use our power a bit more did we get four did we get lucky uh no we have a jungle gym next to shack and one over there oh hello that's at least two folks uh, let's go for the more clueless one i guess uh, yo all right that's better hmm Duration add-ons are a thing, but we have a bone already. I really don't think they're enough to save my butt here, are they? Ah! Yes, they are! Yes, they are! Ah! Alright, I'm not even gonna try to make it to another... Alright, that would have been a great fake if she somehow pulled that off. You know what? This time, I wasn't gonna wait it out. <laughs> you are deep wounded, you literally cannot that hard, so... Normally, I would wait a bit, just to see if... If it's there. Because if I know if it's there, then later I can adapt to it, right? Maybe next time she's not in deep wound, so I have to avoid it. But I got the best of both worlds. I didn't have to wait, I saw her do it, I know she has it. And not that hard for you next time. Alright, that's pretty excellent. Injured person over there and two people here. I'll go for the two people. I don't have a Tinker yet, so I know none of these gems is popping a little bit too fast. That's excellent. Look, it's done here. Nope. And in fact, yeah, now I've got everyone injured. This girl has to come for this rescue. And if she doesn't, guess what? Pretend to drop? Does she drop? Nope. She's got that open. Uh, everyone else has to man and go for rescue. You don't have to do anything. Ah, uh, there you go. See? Now this girl, if I had known that she had that heart, I would have played that a bit smarter, perhaps. But then again, if she vaulted and had resilience and I didn't swing, I might have that might have been bad. Either way, not a big deal, right? You still have to man, so I think I'll chase you. Oh wait, I don't need to worry about that heart at all. I think I made it. Ah! Oof, okay. So the injured person, what's her name? Zarina, stayed back and decided to do that. If I make it really, really, really far. 
Mm, it takes about eight seconds or so after Tinker is finished for a gen to pop for a single person. I think that if I if I deny the window, I might get a down. She finishes it, but I might get a down. Wow, that's unlucky. Oh, she didn't hit many skill checks, huh? Well, Jolt made the gen regress. Lovely. No need to kick it. So that's nice. If it was a 99.99 now, now it's 90. 89 progressing, so it's pretty great. And honestly, this is a whew, this is a much better map though, Green Pantry. So thank you very much. Uh, here, I'm not even gonna overthink it. I know this girl has. She didn't even try to stun me. I'm just gonna do this for the info. Uh, if I wanted to camp this, it would work out pretty well unless they have a certain perk. Because guess what? Everyone's injured. Well, we don't have to. We don't have to. I would have gone for that 100%. I'm gonna do a little. Mind game that sometimes works. Hey, it's the second that hard. We hit two gens. Damn, one of those were was really, really about to go. Okay. You see how nice it is to have Discordance and Tinkerer? With Discordance and Tinker, we always break up uh, multiple people on a gen. And if multiple people are not a gen, when Tinkerer goes off, guess what? Guess what? They don't finish it as quick and you actually have a chance. And despite Tinker, she hits stage two. Um, and despite Tinker, bah. And despite Tinker uh, having a bit of anti synergy with her power, that was a nice try. You know, that hard? Three times that hard? Four times that hard? Okay, five times that hard. That girl is a bit insane. But it's okay, I mean, oh, you guys are killing yourself on the hook. Okay. Uh, okay. I mean, it's okay. We had enough hook stages, and they didn't do enough gens, and the ones they did were getting pummeled by Jolt. So I understand they didn't feel super good about it. I'm not gonna lie, what that girl did is extremely unlikely, right? She screamed as if she went down. That was a hundred percent of that hard. How the heck did she do that? I don't know. Yeah, me involved, we could have maybe had that. So. This is a jungle gym. She should go for the window. Maybe she vaults back. Ah, let's do it. Ooh, damn, she has a pallet there too. This is a strong window, dude. Damn. Jungle gym next to Shag is always very scary. I figured. Oh, no. I figured she would do that. Let's fake it. Uh, nah, she waited perfectly. Wow. Well, uh, this would probably be the time to leave. But guess what? I don't have a Tinkerer, so... Maybe I don't want to leave. I don't have a red stain either. I wanted to get her. Yeah, I'll go for Ada. Screw this. <laughs> Ada, just loop me anywhere other than... I can use my power after being stunned. Even if I had, even if I had been using my power, I can do this, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Uh, and just try to zone you out. Just don't take me to that shack. That part is disgusting. And I might be closing off now that I don't need to worry. Remember, I have Enduring. If she stuns me, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. In the time it takes for her to drop the pallet, I recover and I walk around. So, you don't need to take 50-50s. You can pretty much have a guaranteed uh, good outcome if you just run through the pallet. If they don't drop it like this girl, you just down them. All right. There was a survivor that killed themselves in that corner of the map, so we're missing one folk. All right, that's not a thinker, but sure. I guess we can wrap this up relatively soon. But we'll try. Boy. This is a much more manageable loop. This is still four lanes. Oh, I can go up. Did I even need to do that? We'll try this, but... I don't even know if that was a dead heart. Oh, dear. Okay. Uh, one really nice thing about uh, Discordance, by the way, is that it tells you that someone has touched a gen. If someone has touched a gen, they do not have any anti tunneling perks. So that Ada does not have off the record and cannot physically have decisive. It just disables. Uh, the, the side effect of off the record definitely can stay, though. Huh? That kill was fast. Hello? Alright, well, I guess I'll just kill you and... Honestly, I don't know how I'm gonna kill her. How am I gonna kill her? This loop is insane. They can recycle it so many times. It's actually... Vault back? No, she didn't even look behind her. Uh, do not chase in this direction. There you go. Oh, wow. Excellent reactions from you. 
You see the problem why you don't want to chase in this direction? Please fall back. Please do something stupid. Uh, this girl's way too good. Oh. Hey, you want to get the hatches right here? I don't even know what to say. Well, that's what I get. That's what I get, of course. That's what I get for playing uh, OP Killer the Legion. And yeah, I'm not. I'm not even gonna show you what they said here. Next up is Wesker, a powerful, if a little bit complex killer that many people try to play early on. And I'm telling you, he is hard, but if you get teachables from just one killer, the plague, you can have a fairly decent build that works pretty well until you unlock the more complex stuff. It has two basic perks, Jolt and Noed. Noed only works with basic attacks, but in the endgame, that's fine. And Jolt only works with basic attacks, which is a bit of a shame. You could totally replace this perk by something else that you have by default, like Awakened Awareness or something else that you get down the line. But until then, it's a fairly decent perk. And then we have the two perks from, teach from, the, from the Plague, the Teachables, Corrupt Intervention, an amazing slowdown perk that works wonders on this killer and almost any other, and Infectious Fright, a perk that makes everyone scream when you down someone, which on Wesker is naturally better than on any other killer because of his larger default terror radius. When you down someone, you look around them, if no one screams, that means that there is no one within 40 meters of you. That's a lot of information. It also goes extremely well with Noed, as you will have a chance to down a survivor and then potentially see where everyone else is around you. And chain downs with Noed are a very common thing with Wesker. As for add-ons, if you don't really know what you're doing, there are many add-ons of the lower rarity that you cannot go wrong with. The Euroboros Tendril, you literally cannot go with, it just makes you a little bit faster. Uh, the gloves, you cannot go wrong with, they just make you a little bit faster. If you don't really know what you're doing, even these basic add-ons will make you do extremely, extremely well on average. So, simple build on a bit of a complex killer. If you want to give it a go, this is a great place to start. Oh, chat, hold up. Uh, we spawn next to a crate, so... Um, could be a Nemesis or a Wesker. We'll see, we'll see. Well, never mind. It's, it's Armin. Hello. We're playing without add-ons just for, you know, showcase. Uh, reasons, I guess. Damn, dude. Stop running, man. I think I got him. Nice. Slammed him against the closest possible wall. Sure thing, why not? Ooh. Oh, a vault, uh, a boon's out of the up. Oh, that's unlucky. That hard? Shall we see it? Ah! Too bad. One. Damn, two. Damn, bro. Oh. Ah. Damn, 40 meter terror radius has its perks, I guess. Damn. Uh, well, I have a bit of a problem, chat. If I don't go for that gen, it can pop very easily. If I don't go for that boon, I mean, they'll get a quick heal, but they can't heal while they're on the hook, so. I mean, let's, let's do priorities, shall we? Well, we'll get rid of that boon at some point. Right now, I think preventing this gen is more important. Close. I don't know. I was bluffing, chat. Ah, gotcha. That should be a slap, by the way. That shouldn't be a grab. I don't know why the game has been bugged like this for a while. What kind of loop do we have here? Uh, oh, chat, I'm gonna do something a bit stupid, but it might work. Nice, dude. She did not want to take any chances. <laughs> Don't know what happened there. Got it. So, did we save that gen? If there was a hook anywhere? Yeah, okay, cool. All right. Thanks, behavior. Damn. Dude, we just needed one hook. Not even, like, super close. Just a little bit, man. What build did odds do for plague? Oh, I'll remind you later, chat. <laughs> we might take that one for a spin again. Oh, damn, dude. You guys really couldn't finish it, I guess. Lucky us. Because we're gonna stick around this Shen and probably... Wait a bloody millimeter! One of you guys... One of you guys is fully infected. Uh, That's kind of important, huh? It wouldn't be you, would it? No, it's not the mag. Hey, you! Don't you know how Wesker works, my guy? 
Uh, damn. Was that a spin burst chat or just look fast? Oh, you're. I mean, this is bad. Chat. Even, even, even the Meg understood that. She tried to help you, but you wouldn't let her body block for you. All right. Well, good, good for them. See, that girl didn't want to mess around. She immediately uh, did the action. Yes. It's not too bad. It's really not too bad. Having two gens gone, it's not ideal. But with no head and endgame stuff, having a person that on hook is pretty good. I should see blood here somewhere. Oh, dear. Using a... Damn, dude. She really doesn't take chances. Uh, that was a fake chat, but I only, ha I only have one charge, so... She's moaning though, so that means unlucky. Is that, all you that means no uh, off the record. Now we have two people that don't hook, right? Yeah. The Legion add-on to refresh your power after pallets done is nice to respect pallets. Oh yeah, it's a really nice beginner uh, build. A uh, beginner uh, add-on, sure. Yeah, it lets you, especially if you run enduring with it, if you want to be a bit of a kill. And yeah, the pallets are just uh, a minor suggestion. They're not really something to be too scared about, huh? I agree. Green thingies. Oh, you're Claudette. Okay, cool. Oh, chat. I'm gonna try something fancy. Uh, no, I didn't really do that, did I? That's good, though. That's good. She's zoned out, I think. Uh, oh, damn, dude. To be fair. Okay, she got stuck a tiny bit. That's so good of her, man. And she, she's got that window there. Wait until she notices it. Okay. Oh, this girl played that so well, man. Well done. No, we'll, fight, we'll play, we'll play. We actually needed to hit her well. Uh, wouldn't be surprised, honestly, chat, if this is uh, the stronger player in the group. So, we're gonna chase it for a second longer, and after that, we're out. We're out, especially with two people injured that are dead on hook. Yeah, sorry, Claudette. Your name's not on my list, I guess. You're not the nice people I want to chase and down quickly. Oh, this is Fang. Uh, fang. Oh. I mean, I'll go for him, just because he's been hooked last time ago, but this is still pretty efficient tunneling. Oh, <laughs> uh, buddy. Daytime he's not even making an effort, man. How are you and the Claudette the same breed of survivor, man? How are you both the same on the same team? That girl had a chance to maybe get hit and, and play that perfectly. And you don't even create the chance. And you were in the same spot too. She never dropped that pallet, right? So. And if I wanted to make this easier, now I go back for the Nia. Nice job, though. That was good from us. MMR isn't real, that's why. It is real, Chad, but. It's limited. And it's imperfect. And it also cannot account for some external things, like your little brother playing on your account, you know? How is that the M MMR's fault? Do you actually think you could she did really good up until she was super cornered. Yeah, I, like, you know? Or if one day you play drunk and you're not performing 100%, you know, MMR cannot bridge those gaps, I suppose. So as you can see, my plan here is not super gen-oriented. Like, I'm not kicking everything with her option. I really can't with this build. It's more like down people, see where they are, try to have a person that don't hook. And near the end of the game, you always have Noah to help you out a bit. Remember that when you down someone, you're gonna hear people around you in a 40 meter radius. And there's no perks that lets them dodge that. There's technically calm spirit, but the last person that round calm spirit, you know, died in World War II. No one runs calm spirit. So you're fine. They could also go into a logger, I think, to avoid the perk, but yeah. Uh, so what I'm trying to say is that every time you get a down, if you don't hear anyone around you, pretty safe to assume that... Pretty safe to assume that... Oh, damn. Sorry, man. Hard guys, man. It's hard work. Uh, it's pretty safe to assume that there's no one around you. And that is, in itself, also information. If I down someone, and there's no one around me, I'm not gonna start being like, Oh, oh, here? Oh, open this locker? Like, I'm gonna feel pretty confident that, okay, I know what's going on. I, I feel pretty confident that I have no clue what's going on in this game anymore. 
Hi, you wanna get chased again, Colette? I think you're super challenging, Suara. Let's chase her. I, if, if it gets a bit rough, then I probably leave Chad, but... <laughs> there's no way. Oh wait, I only have one charge! I'm dumb as heck. I'm dumb as heck, Chad. Even if I did that right, it wouldn't have worked. <laughs> I know what's gonna happen when I do this, but... Okay, never mind, I didn't predict that. Fair enough, but... Oh, is that off the record? No, it's not. She wins. <laughs> You're brave as heck, dude. You think I don't expect that, man? But yeah, another thing that MMR does not account for is when you play with your friends and you are super insane at the game and your friends are a little bit newer, you know? Obviously, yeah. Well, guess what? Oh, please tell me you didn't have adrenaline and I'm not gonna see you now anywhere. Oh, hi! What? I can see them from that far? That's disgusting. Alright, well, I don't really care so much about that mech because she hasn't been hooked yet. Oh, wow. That's a big one. Right, so what's gonna happen is if that if that Colette has some kind of healing perk, maybe I'll they get up. Dead. If not, I'm pretty sure this is a straight kill no matter what. It's pretty impressive though that they made it this far. Wow. Unbreakable? All by yourself? Oh damn. Sheesh, hold on. Honestly, she had, she even had Shaq there. I see Claudette in the distance. No way you have balance. Oh my god, that's so cool. But I'm fast too, I guess. Oh no. Right, so the point of Noid and Awawa is that if you have a situation that you think you can do something about, you can carry a survivor and visually check. Like, even if this was through a wall, I could, like, check. I'm like, oh, where's Claudette? I can't possibly know. I don't know where Claudette is. Uh, where is she? I don't know. Is she behind this? She's not behind this. I kind of like this Claudette, dude. She's a bit gassy, but... <laughs> Awawa. You wanna get her? Get some points, man? That was a fun game. I really enjoyed this. This goal was great. <laughs> Go get her. Yeah, I'm, I'm chill, dude. I don't care. You know, you know I'm playing a tournament. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Bye. See ya. Wow. Damn. She had hope. Well, didn't really matter. Because we didn't really chase her at the end. But... And finally, we get to the more complex build out of all of them. The one for the plague. Now the Plague, in my opinion, is one of those characters that is a lot harder to play than she might look. I don't typically recommend her for beginners, there's a lot of ways you can play her wrong. But with this build and the playstyle that I'm going to explain to you, she becomes a lot simpler. And this is a pretty decent way to get into playing as her. So, as you can see, we have her own perk, Corrupt Intervention, to block many gens at the start. Two perks from the Clown, Bamboozle, to block windows as we vault them. And Pop Goes the Weasel, to regress gens. The more they are progressed, the more they regress and Tinkerer from the Hailbilly, which will let us know where to go so that we can find those gens and pop them. Now, a with a few variations and strong add-ons, like the, the, this build can become something absolutely disgusting, extremely powerful, but we don't even need to get there. We can start with very, very simple add-ons. I highly recommend that you avoid the two infection add-ons. We will not try to puke on people directly to fully infect them. I would say stay away from these add-ons. Instead, run simple add-ons, such as the add-ons to increase the time that objects get infected. Let's say, let's get one of these add-ons in, and any other utility add-on that you might like. For example, the one that highlights people's auras when they cleanse in a pool. This is pretty good for beginners, so any simple add-ons or no add-ons will serve you very, very well. Since Corrupt Intervention will block three gens at the start, that only leaves four gens for the survivors to do, and you're just gonna go and puke on them. And once you see a survivor, you're going to puke on them a little bit, enough to get them infected, and then move on, puke another one. Once you have a few people infected, or it looks like you have a very decent chase, you will commit to someone, down them, and when a gen is about to get done, you will get a warning with Tinkerer. Go there, and if you have pop, you will pop it. Every time you have a red fountain and you want to drink from it, survivors that try to use shag and jungle gyms to loop you really well will have to deal with your bamboozle. And that's it. Extremely simple build. Uh, obviously it gets a little bit tougher against good survivors in larger maps, but I'll show you a match against, I think, fairly decent survivors so that you can see that even in large maps, this build is still absolutely kick-ass. Okay, so we're playing against survivors, but by 
judging by the levels, they don't seem bad. They have a bunch of med kits, which would normally be bad, but we're Plague, I guess it's not a big deal. And we have a pretty large map. All right, let's deal with this. So, um, uh, the idea with this, I suppose, is that you can puke on gens, and since we have duration atoms, they can't really get on them easily. But I'm not gonna be too distracted by that. I also wanna puke on people. I mean, that probably holds them for a little while, right? That girl didn't care. Fair enough, respect. Oh wow, I literally spit in Dwight's mouth. Alright, fair enough, I'll take that. Everyone else has to go a bit further, so... Wow, you drop and made no sound? Hello? Oh, that makes a lot more sense, huh? Might have been balanced, chat. Wow, really? That freely? We're about to hear a tinker in a few seconds. And it's gonna be from... you know who. Uh, does that make it a good idea to go there, though? If I can infect this girl, maybe. It's just being smart using the trees a bit behind cover. Nice, let's go for Nancy. She does have Shaq, but I mean, we got bamboos, all right? It can't be that bad. I'm gonna go this way, so she goes right. And then... Oh, bolt it again. Now she needs to give me this pallet. Oh, in fact, she's dead. Because the faster bolt. Alright. Unlucky. Um, I would- I could go basement, and that would be a bit uncomfortable. Oh, never mind. Uh, lady? Okay, I'll hook here. Just so I keep tabs on everyone. At some point, they'll have to start cleansing a bit. This didn't even give me Tinker, so it's below 70. Pretty good. That did give me Tinker. That's above 70. Alright, if it's the two of them, I don't think I make it. If it's only one of them... Yeah, it's both of them. I hear both of their breathing. But that's a down, though. Shame. Alright, not the end of the world. Especially if they don't get that girl out of that hook ASAP. They did, though. Good job. So, Nancy and... Nancy and Dwight unhooked. Mm, you tap it? I can kick this again. This is the only other gen you guys have progress on. Not a pop, why not? This is the moment where if I go back and sit in front of him, unless they have reassurance, it's a bit of a hard camp. Like, how are they gonna get him? They're all injured, right? Oh, goodness gracious, I forgot about that one. I forgot. Hi, White Beard, thank you for the four years? Is that insane? I'm gonna hide a little bit behind the tree. I was a bit scared. Uh, I won't kick it because I have Bob. I'd rather kick it out right after. The gen's nearly done too, so. Ah, oh, man, if I could hook next to that one fountain and use it really well, that would be awesome. Shut. I can't hold all the gens. But it's okay. This is probably Nancy working on this. My terror radius will come back eventually, but maybe by the time he comes back, they don't hear me too well and they give me a down. If I have someone that don't hook, I don't mind losing this. Good job, Nancy. I'm gonna try to do something really predictable and vol, and she'll probably. Good job. Let's get this pallet out of her. Okay, I don't think she was stupid. I don't think we. I don't think we can really force her to not give us the pallet. Oh man, come on! Why am I? Why am I like this, shot? Why am I like this? She's going down though. Ah, yeah. Dude. Okay, dude. Is anyone else? Oh my god, you guys are absolutely deranged! I'll hit this if they have that heart, whatever, dude. I kick that just to hold it enough to get that hook and pop it. If they finish this, I mean, it's easy. It's gonna be tough. Uh, there's not... It's not impossible that... Okay, bro. It's not impossible that they have Unbreakable or some other thing to play. I know the window's there. So you're dead hard. Okay. Uh, Nancy got picked up, maybe unbreakable. Hopefully the gen regressed a tiny bit, enough for me to hook this guy and pop it. Please don't finish it in my face. If they finish it in my face, at least they're all injured. Share of being a little frustrated oh, okay. dead hard, but not going to lie what someone just said in chat, that Nancy would have 100% outplayed you if she had the distance on her dead hard at Shaq good riddance. How did we leave that perk in the game? Uh, well, Chad, you know, I think Dead Heart is in that fine position where it's good, but it's not universally good. 
you know, new players don't use it so well. So, it's in that fine line of... It's hard enough to use that the stats probably don't make it OP in the eyes of the devs. What do the devs look at? Do they look at fun? Do they look at... No, they probably look at, you know... For you guys. They probably look at, you know, what is the escape rate of people that run that perk, etc, etc, etc. Oh, yeah. I am sad, but that's the way it is. Right, let's drink up. We've been saving this for a little while. If at any point I catch a glimpse of the Dwight, he's dead on hook, so he's high priority. That Bill, if he gets on hook, is also high priority. The Nancy, we down twice, but I only hooked her once. Remember? Nancy understands, I think. Never mind. Hulk. Okay, that's a bit of bands, but it's not that difficult. With that heart. Oh, terrible idea trying to make distance though. Oh! Alright, if he has decisive, uh, decisive is not a pallet stun, so I don't lose my power. Alright. I should now get a Tinkerer? Somewhere? And it could be. Okay. I don't think I'll still get a Tinkerer. And what has chosen to do that? And if it's anywhere far enough like that one, then I would know 100% that that is Dwight. I'm not gonna try to follow, I don't have enough. If she comes here, I use my power. If she doesn't come here... Uh, we have five seconds shot. I'm gonna swing just to fall faster. And uh, she has a pallet here. She's not camping yet? Good enough. Uh, don't really wanna chase this girl though. I wanna find Dwight. Well, I mean, it's not too bad. We'll have a pop with the Tinkerer, I guess. How far is it? It could be two people. But at that point, hopefully... At that point, if it really is two people... We should hopefully have someone that unhook. It's only one guy, and it's right, let's go. He has about eight seconds the moment, the moment the thing fills up. He has eight seconds. So if he greets this, he might finish it. Pretend to... Yeah, okay, that worked. Pretend to break it? That way, maybe he lowers his guard and then we do this. That's it, so... You guys have a hard time now. So, this is a pretty good example of how Bamboozle, in a map that could otherwise be really troublesome, makes Shaq simpler, makes some places simpler, right? And hopefully with the pallets, you don't have to super mega overthink it. If it's two people, and I think this is two people, you're gonna see that the moment the red bar is about to fill up for Tinkerer, it's already gone. So understand that if you see Tinkerer, it could be one of two things. Either it pops right as it fills up. Life, I see. Or it pops about eight seconds after. And that will tell you how many people there are. There's a window on that side, and we have bump. Do I actually make it? Well, I honestly wanted to die, but that was maybe a bit insane of us. She can't use it more than once, though. And if another gen is about to be done, which is not entirely impossible, we would know and we would just go there. They didn't cleanse at all, and I think they made it easier on us. Thanks for that. Oh, well, technically, Chad, I wouldn't have another Tinkerer, would I? Because, yeah, that already has given me one. Chad, I need to not think this through. I have Bloodlust 3 at tier 3, Chad. Just because I'm refusing to do this. Look how fast I am. Uh, this building is quite disgusting, isn't it? Oh, Bloodlust 3 it is. There's not a pallet here. It's impossible for it to be a pallet here. I'll tell you why. If you have a window in the back, it means that there's only one pallet. Only one. Right? If you have a window in the back, one pallet. And we already know that it's there. If you don't have a window in the back, then there's three pallets all around. But, you know, the, you don't have the window in the back to worry about. Oh, hi. Why would you do that? Bit risky, don't you think? She infected herself by touching the infected thing. I mean, cool. It's also really nice that we have the... I mean, not that we would lose her, but... It's nice that we have the add-on to... See the aura of someone that cleanses. It's a very simple and easy to use add-on, that's why I have it. Um, how long does it take for someone to get infected running normally? About 50 seconds, yeah. But you can help them a bit, I guess. Good like that. Just puke on her. There you go. That's enough. 
if I wanted to super sweat this, I think I would have to... I would have to not even... I wouldn't need to blow last her. Because there's a small chance. Oh, nice job. There's a small chance she could beat me to Hatch right now. If I bloodlust her there, then it should be zero. Yeah, I'll go. Yeah, well done. Not sure if Adrenaline not should have exhausted, but she did have that hard level. Uh, Chad, do you think this build is easy? Or... or Did at any point, anything of what I did seem like super hard to follow? Did I do any... Super strange decisions with my build or my or my infection or my choice of target. It's not that hard, right? Like I know that you know if someone juices you up and they find a super big loop, like I understand that nothing is enough to make that easy. But maybe other than that stupid chase in main with Meg, maybe other than that I think we'll play that okay. You got Bali early? Yeah, early it was really nice. Yeah, dude, this would have been so hard, dude, with other killers. Imagine, man. That Nancy had adrenaline. Whatever. Everyone had adrenaline. Whatever. <sighs> two heal med good. Three heal med good. Two heal med good with a little plus. Uh, Alright, a bit of variety in terms of exhaustion perks. We never release all the bounce. Oh, we did see it at the very first chase, I think. Yeah, this could have been really tough on other killers, man. But yeah. All right, that's all the bills I have for you today. If you're still a beginner and are having a hard time with the very basics of chase, this video out there might be exactly what you need to watch after. If you're more of an intermediate and you're having a hard time converting good chases and pressure into actual results, this other video might be the best one for you. Thanks so much for watching and I hope your killer games are a little bit more pleasant. See ya.